Our next guest is a SAG award-winning young actor you know from the trial of the Chicago 7. Next, he stands before judge and jury again in the courtroom drama Monster. It's on Netflix now. Say hello to Kelvin Harrison, Jr. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, you're very talented, by the way. I'm sure you know this. Do you think of yourself as very talented? <laughs> I don't think about it too much. <laughs> I got my daddy to tell me that one. You know, I mentioned, <laughs> I said this is a new movie, and I found out that, like, it, it's new to Netflix, but it's, how, what year did you shoot this movie? 2016. 2016. Uh, this is, like, I mean, this is, you could, ex part of it must have been COVID, the delay, right? Oh, no, I think it was, we went to Sundance, and then after Sundance, we were looking for a buyer, and then, you know, a whole thing happened, and then now we finally got the movie on the I see. So. Oh, it's like so a it's sales a thing. I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. old were you when you made the movie? I was 21. And you're 26 now? Yeah, I'm 27. <laughs> 27 now? <laughs> you won, like, it's been between, you've had like a dozen movies come out since you made this one, right? Yeah, I've been trying to, you know, keep it going. And then you guys won uh, the SAG Award for the trial of uh, Chicago 7, which was really, you Fantastic movie. You're uh, you're from New Orleans. Yes. Yeah, and your dad. This is. I thought this was kind of interesting. Your dad, what? Well, not only a musician. You both your parents. Mom was a singer. Mm -hmm. Your dad was a musician. Your dad was your band director, a band teacher at school. Yes. Wow. That was interesting. Was that good or bad? You know, you know, if you were getting in trouble in class, you know, the teacher would try to pull you across the hall and be like, let me talk to your daddy. Really? And so then my dad would have to come out, and then you got to give him that look like, where does your loyalty lie, man? You know what I mean? I got to go home with you, so what you going to do? Usually <laughs> the dad would give the kid that look, and yet you were giving dad that look. I run that house. You were running the house, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> it does sound like you ran the house. Yeah, we have a photograph here. Um, oh my God! Yeah, this is this is uh, this is your you and your dad. <laughs> yes. Your dad's playing the sax. You're playing the trumpet. Yeah. And then your sisters here. Yeah. Oh, they're very cute. So they're twins, right? Yeah, they're bad. <laughs> They, are they musicians now? Not anymore, no. They're not. Yeah, there's not a lot of fluting that goes on. I mean, there's very limited as far as uh, playing the flute goes. What do they do now, your sisters? My sister's in the Air Force, so she just moved to England. And, wow. And uh, my other sister is a nurse. Wow, how about that? Yeah. Wow, that's great. So they're doing something, like, important with their lives, and you're wearing makeup and dressing up in costumes. You know what it is, man. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. Are you? You don't seem that convincing. Are you really <laughs> having a good time? <laughs> you, uh, your uh, mom and dad in the movie are played by Jennifer Hudson and Jeffrey Wright, who are, uh, you know, obviously Jennifer Hudson won an Oscar. Jeffrey Wright's a fantastic actor. Is that intimidating to you, or are you just that confident that it doesn't phase you? Honestly, I, I was scared more so about meeting Jennifer because, you know, my, my family's musicians, so we watched American Idol every week. Oh, you did? So we voted every night, every Wednesday night for Jennifer. So when I finally got to meet her, I was like, oh, my God, it's Effie, you know what I'm saying, from Dream Girl. <laughs> and, you know, so that was cool. But, you know, eventually you kind of got to get through it because you're just like, I don't want to mess this up because they're going to be like, why is this kid running this? this did movie? your family get to meet her as well? <laughs> yes, my parents got to come to set. And did they tell like, her that you, they voted for her? My mom definitely probably told her. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she couldn't help herself. <laughs> were you were you nervously listening in while your parents talked to her, or are you like whatever? I was over in the corner, just kind of like, "What you doing? What you doing?" <laughs> As you having musician parents in New Orleans, um, I would assume means that you know musicians or p famous people who come in and out of there. Is that the case for you? Yeah, so my dad, um, like Trombone Shorty used to come through the house. And really? Harry Connick Jr. was in my dad's band when they were growing up. Wow. And my dad's music teacher was Ellis Marsalis. And so like Winton and Bradford and Jason. Really? You know, Delphio all were around the house. So they was, would hang around your house? I mean, they they all just friends. Terrence Blanchard, all those guys. I didn't know who they were. Did any, did, <laughs> did the instruments come out and did people start playing? Oh, yeah, for sure. They were always playing. Really? Yeah, was... At your house? <laughs> At my house. And you had... <laughs> I mean, you know, this is like what we imagine that happens, but then, it, you know, a lot of times, like, like I'll tell you something, Cleto over there with a saxophone, he's a great saxophone player, never wants to play at a party or anything. Now I'm like, <laughs> hey, Cleto, why don't you get the stuff out? He's like, yeah, all right, I'm good, I'm good, I'm all right. <laughs> but you see, Cleto, is, what he's saying is, like, the really famous guys will do that. Really do that, right. Okay, well, I'll, I'll work on that. Okay, yeah, so I'd appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs>
So you're, and then you got in, did you get in the theater program at school? I started in high school, I did like hairspray, and um, that was it. I did a, a Shakespeare play like my freshman year. I was bad though, so I didn't. <laughs> really? That was really bad. Had, were you me. worse than the other kids? Oh yeah. Oh really? Well, because I didn't get the part. So my best friend got the part, and I said, hey man, I'll do a deal with you if you drop out to let me in. And he was like, fine. I forgot what the, the deal was. I guess I gave him my homework or something like that, but he was smarter than me, so I don't know why he did that. But really? <laughs> you bought the role from him? Well, I mean, something. <laughs> And then I tanked, so, you know. <laughs> really? Well, how about that? Did you do it, like, right before? Did you not have a chance to rehearse or what? Oh, I just, I just, did, I, it was, I just didn't understand Shakespeare. It was a Midsummer Night's Dream, and I didn't know what, what, I, didn't know what I was talking You just heard about. Shakespeare, you thought, I better get in on I this. I was like, this is hot. This is the high brow, you know? <laughs> do you ever hear from that friend? Oh, uh, no, actually. Oh, I wonder if he's like, I could have been in the trial of the Chicago <laughs> 7. <laughs> I would have a SAG award right now. <laughs> Everything would be going great for me, and here I am parking cars in front of a Hilton. Oh, no. I hope that's not what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Well, it might be. And, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you got a little experience as an agent before you became an actor. I, should, I probably should have been. To be yeah. Oh, well, what are you working on right now? Um, I'm, I'm working on this movie called The Chevalier de St. Georges, so I'm practicing violin five hours a day right now, so I'm gonna leave here and probably practice. You're practicing um, violin? Wow. Yes. And that's not something you played growing up? No, no, no. I'm so and you do, aren't you doing a movie, uh, you shot the movie about B.B. King, right? Yes, yes, the Elvis movie, yeah. Wow, yeah. Oh, with Tom Hanks yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. yeah, oh, and Boz Lerman and yeah, all yeah, that yeah. stuff. Oh, how about that? That's fine. That's do you do you play the guitar? No, I do not play the guitar. Wow, all these instruments in your family and um, none of them have come in handy at all for you. <laughs> Oh, Dave, not the ones. I, I play piano and trumpet. That's what I grew up playing, but then I quit because my daddy was, he was intense. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I know how that goes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's great to have you here. Thank you, uh, That's uh, uh, Kelvin uh, Harrison Jr., everybody. His movie's called Monster. It's on Netflix now. We'll be right back with Allison Russell. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.